again. This is Joe Pryor of the Virtual Real Estate Team in Oklahoma City. And I want to add to the last video I did in reference to buying investment property in Oklahoma City. Now in the last one what we did is kind of give you an overview of the Oklahoma City market. And Henri here, my little toy poodle, I'll raise him up just a bit there. He likes to sit with me. And uh, we talked about short sales uh, and why short sales are, can be a really, really good buy for investors and, uh, and what the cash flow was like in reference to a purchase price and why buying a short sale in Oklahoma City makes sense because of the stability of the market and the fact that we've been holding prices basically for the last three years. But I also deal with a lot of experienced investors. And experienced investors typically have quite a few mortgages out there and they may be buying all over the country in terms of where it makes sense. Uh, and if you do get over four mortgages with Fannie Mae, uh, which is a primary residence, and three mortgages that are on investment type property or a second home, uh, then at that point it changes in terms of how you do your financing. First of all, your minimum down payment goes to 25% from 20%. And then they also expect a lot in reserve. Uh, in fact, uh, six months principal interest taxes and insurance on all your properties, either in a reserve account or a retirement account to offset the need to put out that extra cash. Well, and then there's a limit of 10 uh, on Fannie Mae. You can't go beyond that. And experienced investors very often have more than 10. So what I want to talk about today is the advantage of buying a VA repossessed home. Uh, because VA does take homes back from veterans and then offers them on the market for either owner occupants or investors, uh, whatever they consider to be the highest and best use and uh, the best price. And so where it's an advantage to an experienced investor or maybe any investor uh, who's looking for leverage is that it's only 5% down. Uh, is versus 20 or 25 percent down and so there can be a real advantage in leverage you can build in closing costs there is no mortgage insurance and here's the good thing there is no limit to how many you can buy in terms of VA again remember that 10 limit on Fannie Mae you could have 10 20 30 however many of the VA repossessed properties that you want now you do buy them in the as-is condition so typically what we do is inspections uh, on the property. Uh, VA does require that we get a termite certificate that we can negotiate with them if termites are found. Uh, and then what we do is we relist them on the market with our property manager. So if you are an experienced investor anywhere in the United States and you're looking for a conservative investment but you're also either looking for leverage or you're a person that has too many mortgages and you just don't like what Fannie Mae is doing to you either not giving you a mortgage at all or charging you extra, then talk to me about VA vending uh, financing on their repossessed foreclosed properties. And you can reach me through my websites, that is joeprior.com, and also our team website, virtualrealestateteam.com in Oklahoma City. Call me with any questions.